happy as the bride the sun shines on. <laughs> if she doesn't catch pneumonia. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. <laughs> oh, it's really gonna happen. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> You remember we used to ch store the chicken feed over there? Mm -hmm. I had to get up every morning, fill up a bucket, and feed those chickens. Oh. <laughs> All I ever thought about was getting out of here. Antonio took me away to Las Vegas to get married. I said to myself, this is it. I'm free. My life is beginning. I was wrong. I am very proud of you, Meg. Really? Really. Oh, <laughs> really, really, really. <laughs> oh, well, then, I always knew what you were capable of. Very hard watching you try to find your way, going through all that pain and confusion. And I, I always wanted to make everything all better for you. But I couldn't do it. I know, with all my heart, that you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful life with Josh. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be happier. You know what I think I found? I really believe that you can make your happiness with love. <laughs> because the more love I give away, the more I have to give. And the more I give, the more I get back. And the more I love Josh. The more I love my family, my friends, my life, and everything. And especially you, Mama. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> You've never given up on me. Thank you. <laughs> Watching you grow into such a beautiful, sensitive, loving woman is all the, the thanks a mother needs for once. <laughs> God bless and keep you, my little Meg. Megan! Oh, hi. 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 Ron Snyder. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to have a chance to get to talk to you today before the wedding. I wanted to say... Well, I'm not exactly sure what I wanted to say. This is all kind of strange, isn't it? Me <laughs> marrying your sister. Yeah. You being a bridesmaid. Uh, strange. Yeah. You want to sit on? Sure. Okay. Well, I guess I just wanted to say that it's okay. And I mean that. You always mean what you say. You've always been honest with me. I appreciate that. I wish... Well, you know, wishing's not going to change anything. I mean, what happened, happened, and it's just always going to be there, you know. accepted that it's part of getting on with life but I would say to you I mean if I didn't think that you could make Meg happy I would say something in fact I felt differently six months ago but now I think I should tell you that I honestly respect you you do yes for trying to work out your problems. And I think you're a real fighter. But then I am too. I think that's how we survived this whole thing. And I just want to wish you and Meg all the best. Thank you. I'll make her happy. I hope so. Life sure throws some strange twists and turns. You say that again. Aha, uh -huh, you can say what again? Where is everybody? Well, we're here. 
Well, no, you know what I mean. I mean, the important thing is, it's the wedding day today. I mean, where's Cal? And he's the best man. And Meg, she's the bride. And Mama, this place should be filled with people doing that, you know, wedding thing. Well, maybe Meg changed her mind and called the whole thing off. Ah, <laughs> oh, Josh, I think that's highly doubtful. You and Meg are going to be the inspiration to the rest of us. The big question is, Iva, who's going to be next? Maybe Seth, Caleb? Caleb has been moping around all morning because Lily spent the night with Lucinda. Oh, Listen, I run how to get the mail. Who do I run into? But the man who's hey. giving the bride away. Hello. Hello. Give this fellow a cup of coffee. Hello. I need that. Uh, hey, it's Hello. good to see you. It's My see goodness. You a long time no see. Yeah, how's Danny doing? I hear she has a cold. And is, yes. is Bessie going to come? Oh, thanks. Um... No, I'm sorry. She's not going to make it. We were up oh. all night with... Oh, my. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> sorry. It's all right. I'm Had tired. We were up all night with her, and uh, I was hoping she was going to get a little better, but, but she's worse off this morning than she was last night, even, and I don't know. Betsy's not going to make hey, it. Hey, yeah. She'll call you. How you doing, buddy? You missed her hurry? Right. Yeah. Of course, I filled in for you, and I oh, must say I was oh. great. <laughs> Good. I'm glad, uh, but yeah. that job's taken, so don't worry about it. That's all right. I'll give Ellie away. I'm not getting married. Who said anything about marriage? I just said I'd give you away. Who'd want you anyway? Yeah, all right. Who'd want you anyway? I've been standing up there trying to think up something meaningful to say to you. Of course, Elizabeth would have known just what to say. But I know she would have been very proud of you, son. I wish she was here. Yeah, me too. How long did it take you to drive? But you know what? Uh, you know, how about this? I think maybe she is. Yeah, is it laptop? Yeah. Mom was crazy. Is it smelling up there? No, it's dry. I mean, that's number seven. Maybe she is. Yeah. Right there. With the roads clear. Bye. I'll hurry back. In time to get myself all dolled up so we can go to the Snyder's. Oh, good. Remember to tell me if you find out anything about my mom's car, honey. Right. Oh, hey, bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mommy. Come back okay. early. Don't yeah. stay at work all day. Bills, bills, bills. Oh, and a catalog for sexy lingerie. I did I not order that. You T. Order that. Hughes, just as I thought. Uh, I did order that. Oh, my gosh, Tom, look. It's a letter addressed to Arnold Benson. From whom? Arnold Benson. No, no, the return address. Who's I'm telling you, Arnold Benson. He sent it to himself. I don't understand. He knows he doesn't live here, right? Look at the postmark. 1969. My God, this must be one of the letters from the mailbag in um, Adam's nursery. What's he doing sending himself a letter 20 years ago? That's wow. a good question. As the world turns. This portion brought to you today by Puffs and Puffs Plus Facial Tissues. We have a soft spot for noses.